Welcome to the audio described version of the Desert Tortoise 101 video. National Park Service Ranger talking to the camera while in front of a desert mountain range. You've probably heard of the desert tortoise. Close up of a desert tortoise. This 12 inch, 10 pound reptile is a Mojave's tortoise walking by Mojave Yucca in front of granite boulders. Most iconic animal, but you've probably never seen one. The real deal is a rare sighting. Close up of a desert tortoise. As they spend almost tortoise climbing out of a burrow. 95% of their lives underground. And they're also disappearing. New ranger standing in the desert. Joshua Tree has lost 90% of its tortoises. Empty shell of a dead tortoise. In the last 40 years. But while some fear that we may be witnessing the end of the Mojave Desert tortoise. Walking tortoise with gray epoxy on its shell. Joshua Tree is part of a national effort to save them. Welcome to Desert Tortoise 101. Today we'll meet a tortoise. Camera zooms out to reveal first ranger is next to a tortoise. We'll learn what they are, where they live, and how they survive in Joshua Tree National Park. We'll also try to understand the threats they face. Tortoise walking, screen fades to black. And see what we can do to help them on their slow and steady march into an uncertain future. Animation of the different elements of the National Park Service Arrowhead logo. Logo shrinks to reveal a desert tortoise sitting by green plants. Text on screen reads, Desert Tortoise 101, Joshua Tree National Park. It is estimated that desert tortoises... Ranger's name and title appears on screen beside him. Michael Vomstadt, wildlife ecologist. As we know them today, have been around for 15 to 20 million years. But what are they? Tortoise walking by a choya cactus. Slides to reveal turtles sitting on a log in water. Well, they're tortoises. A family of reptiles that, unlike their turtle relatives, spend their whole lives on land. They are herbivores, meaning that they eat only plants. Close up of tortoise jaw. And their serrated jaws make tortoise eating plants. Short work of their food. But the most notable feature is their shell. Tortoise walking, shell seen from above. Which is made up of bone from their ribs and their spine. Tortoise viewed at eye level. But it's covered with a layer of keratin. Keratin is actually the same outstretched hand material as your fingernails. Their shells grow with them throughout their lives, ranging from the size of a silver dollar at birth, adult tortoise walking, to a dinner plate at adult age. When threatened, Ranger Michael with an overlaid image of a tortoise in a burrow with its head and limbs inside its shell. They can pull their head and limbs completely inside their shell for protection. And they need this good defense because they are, well, tortoise walking, slow. When it comes to where they live, there are actually three different species of desert tortoise native to the deserts of North America. What follows is a map with a title on screen that reads Range Map Desert Tortoises. Shows the Southwest United States and Northwest Mexico, featuring abbreviated US and Mexican state names and a pin labeled Joshua Tree National Park. There's a Sinaloan tortoise that's found in Mexico. As a red habitat outline appears in Mexico, so does text on screen that reads Sinaloan Desert Tortoise, Gopherus Evegudii. Some of the habitat is cross-hatched, and text on screen reveals range overlap and or observed hybridization is associated with cross-hatched colors. And the Sonoran Tortoise that's found mainly in Arizona. As a blue habitat outline appears in Mexico and Arizona, so does text on screen that reads Sonoran Desert Tortoise, Gopherus Morafka. Some of the habitat at the southern end of its range is cross-hatched with the Sinaloan tortoise's habitat. But we're focusing on a species found in Joshua Tree. Camera zooms in to Southern California. And the only one protected by the Endangered Species Act, and that is the Mojave Desert Tortoise. As green habitat outline appears, so does text on screen that reads Mojave Desert Tortoise, Gopherus agassizii. Unsurprisingly, they live throughout the Mojave Desert. And here in Joshua Tree, they can be found virtually anywhere. Valley of Joshua Trees. Valleys, bajadas. Time lapse of desert slope. Washes. Dry, sandy creek bed. And up to 4,000 feet in elevation. Tortoise walking uphill. But tortoises are reptiles. Tortoise in the shade. They're cold blooded, which means they can't regulate their body temperature. And if you've been to Joshua Tree, you know that we have some of the most extreme temperatures throughout the year. But Joshua Tree in the snow. Lows can be below freezing, highs over 110 degrees. Bright sun behind cactus. And ground temperatures where these tortoises live. Heat coming off the rocky ground in front of mountains. Can reach 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Which begs the question, how 
Do they survive here? Tortoise walking by Mojave Yucca in front of granite boulders. We mentioned earlier. Ranger's name and title appears on screen. Kathleen Farmer, biological science technician. That they spend up to 95% of their lives underground. Those extreme temperatures help us to explain why. Front leg of a desert tortoise with nails visible. Tortoises use their front legs to dig multiple burrows. Tortoise digging under rocks. Shallow underground hideouts to avoid the summer heat and tunnels up to 10 feet long. Entrance to a tortoise burrow in the dirt. For winter's cold. In their winter burrows, they enter brumation. Text on screen in front of falling snow that reads brumation, a state of torpor exhibited by reptiles during winter. Which is basically hibernation for reptiles between the months of October and February. They'll use the same tactic when it's hot out in the summer. Text on screen in front of a Joshua tree in the sun that reads estivation, a state of torpor induced by heat and dryness. By entering a state of torpor called estivation. In the spring and fall, they emerge to eat and mate, but unless it's nice outside, they're gonna stay underground. But even if you can survive extreme temperatures by living mostly underground, that still leaves a tortoise with one big problem. Reflection of a boulder in a puddle of water. Water. On average, a distant desert rainstorm. Tortoises in Joshua Tree will only see two and a half to three inches of rain each year, which really isn't much. So it makes sense that they have learned to make the most of what little they get. Tortoises seem to have a mental map of places in their habitat where water collects. Tortoise walking quickly. And head straight towards those areas during rainstorms. Sometimes, They'll even dig their own catchment basins in the dirt, like a shallow depression. Water pooled in a hole in the dirt. To catch water. But as it turns out, most of the water they get is extracted from their food. It can be green grasses. Tortoise biting grasses. Wildflowers. Tortoise biting cactus fruits. And even those fruits that grow on cactus. So whether it's from a puddle or a prickly pear fruit, they store that water in their bladder for a very long time. Walking tortoise, seen from behind. Their bladders can hold 40% of their body weight in water and waste, which helps them survive during prolonged dry conditions. But despite these adaptations, desert tortoises are struggling. An animation of tortoise population decline in Joshua Tree. 3D view of the park, with a park map saying Indian Cove Campground fading to reveal 3D imagery of park landscape. A green digital circle on the landscape with 30 tortoise icons inside. As camera orbits around this green ring, 27 of the 30 tortoise icons fade away, leaving only three. Before 1990, in Joshua Tree, there were an estimated 30 tortoises per square kilometer. Now there are only three tortoises per square kilometer. We know this because we count them, monitoring their populations almost like a tortoise census. But we also want to follow their movements and see where they spend their time. Ranger Kathleen holds up a wooden handled metal antenna. And that's where technology like radio telemetry comes in handy. A sitting desert tortoise with gray clumps attached to the outside of its shell sits on the ground. Text on screen reads transmitter, secured with gray epoxy as an arrow points to those gray clumps on its shell. We've outfitted some tortoises with non-invasive radio transmitters, which emit a signal we can pick up using an antenna. So as we search for one of these tortoises today, let's talk about the threats they face. Ranger Kathleen holding up the antenna and walking out of frame to reveal a wide shot of her walking across the desert. One factor is habitat loss and degradation due to development. Close Joshua trees and a distant mountain with houses in between. More and more people are moving to the Mojave. A neighborhood of houses in a vast desert valley seen from above. Putting up buildings where there once were burrows. And while most of the development has happened outside park boundaries, Ranger Kathleen walks towards the camera while holding the antenna high. The impacts of development are far reaching. Seven ravens on the ground surrounded by Joshua trees. Take ravens, for example, who thrive in human built environments. Raven perched in a Joshua tree with an overlaid animated graph depicting raven population growth. A red line capped off with a raven icon races to the top of the screen, accompanied by the date, increasing as the line goes throughout the x-axis. After the line leaves the screen, text on screen reads plus 795%, 1967 to 2004. Their populations in the Mojave have exploded, by some estimates increasing 700% since 1967. 
and ravens are smart enough to figure out that their beaks are stronger than juvenile tortoise shells. Hand holding a juvenile tortoise shell that has been pecked through by ravens. It can take 10 years for tortoise shells to harden enough to protect them from ravens, and another 10 years after that to reach maturity. This means fewer tortoises can grow up and reproduce. Broken tortoise shell on the ground. But even mature desert tortoises are threatened by development. Cars driving on a road through granite boulders. Roads are especially hazardous for desert tortoise. This is because they're slow and steady. Tortoise crossing the road. It takes them a long time to cross the road. But also, they're drawn to roads during rainfalls. Water tends to collect on the pavement and they'll make a beeline straight for it. 35 mile per hour speed limit sign and a yellow tortoise crossing sign. The park tries to prevent these collisions by setting practical speed limits, installing warning signs at each and every entrance. But that doesn't always work. Finally, tortoises face pressure from climate change and drought. Despite their many adaptations that help them survive in the desert, they do have their limits. Heat radiating off the road. Thanks to climate change, the Mojave Desert is experiencing rising temperatures, dry, rocky ground, and more severe droughts. And studies project that tortoises will lose most of their suitable habitat as this trend continues. Tortoise walking downhill. And to add insult to injury, climate change also makes them more susceptible to disease. Close up of a desert tortoise with text on screen that says, upper respiratory tract disease. Upper respiratory tract disease, which was first found in the late 80s and early 90s, can be lethal on its own. Tortoise searching the ground with its head. But it's made deadlier by drought conditions. Altogether, this paints a pretty bleak picture of the future. So what are we doing about it? Ranger Kathleen holding the antenna finds and points out a desert tortoise with a transmitter sitting in the shade of a Mojave yucca. As part of their ESA recovery plan, we continue to monitor tortoises like this one so we can better understand the threats they face and to make informed decisions about their management. Blue gloved hands affix a new transmitter to the shell of that desert tortoise using gray epoxy. Black gloved hands hold the tortoise. This tortoise is being outfitted with a brand new transmitter and will help us to understand how often they cross busy park roads, if they're mating, and if they're laying eggs. These are long-term projects. The newly transmitted tortoise begins to walk away. Desert tortoises can live to be 80 years old. And to study a long-lived species, tortoise leaves the frame. You need a long-term data set. Effective tortoise research can require upwards of 15 years worth of data. We provide tortoise training to our partners, our contractors, and everyone working in the park. Two orange signs along the road that read, road work ahead, and workers ahead. Everyone at our work sites is tortoise aware. We also have qualified biologists. Team of biologists, including rangers Kathleen and Michael, standing around a desert tortoise. So they're ready to respond whenever necessary. They also have legal protections. We talk with the public to make sure that everyone knows that it's illegal to interfere with tortoises in any way. Text on screen, it is illegal to harass, harm, pursue, hunt, shoot, wound, kill, trap, capture, or collect living or dead tortoises. The only exception is to help one get across the road. Ranger wearing blue gloves holds a tortoise while crossing the road, revealing the thumbnail for a video titled, How to Move a Tortoise. Text says, watch at nps.gov forward slash J-O-T-R or at Joshua Tree NPS on YouTube. And we have a whole video about that to do it safely. But what can you do to protect tortoises during your time in the park? Ranger Kathleen standing among boulders. Thankfully, there are a lot of ways to help. Tortoise walking on grass. First of all, if you see one, give it space. If you get too close to a tortoise, they might void their bladders. Tortoise laying on the sandy ground, peeing, with text on screen that says, footage of a captive tortoise at the Living Desert Zoo and Gardens. A defense mechanism that could waste hard-earned water and have life-threatening consequences. That stress response is one of the factors behind the park's no pets on trail policy. Camera pans down to reveal pet dog with a harness and leash. Even well-meaning pets are likely to put tortoises they come across at risk. Next, there's leave no trace principles. Wind-blown litter in dry desert plants. It's always a good idea to leave our parks better than when you found them. But when you clean up after yourself, discarded orange peel on the ground, and others here in Joshua Tree, you're reducing raven predation. Woman picks up McDonald's cup and throws it in the trash. And protecting desert tortoises. 
A big factor is to be mindful of your vehicle. Small sign with an illustration of flat tortoise with tire tracks across its back, with text reading, be tortoise aware, check under your vehicle. Tortoises are known to seek shade under cars, so check under your tires before you drive away. Tortoise walking under vehicle. If you find one, give it space to move out on its own. Cars driving on road. When you do drive, stick to the park roads. Sign that reads, driving off established roads prohibited, seen at sunset. Off-road travel or even parking on the side of the road can harm tortoises, collapse burrows, and damage habitat. Car driving past 35 mile per hour speed limit sign. And the speed limit is what it is for a reason. Any faster makes it hard to notice when a tortoise is crossing. Tortoise crossing road. And finally, as desert tortoises grapple with these hotter and drier conditions in Joshua Tree due to climate change, creosote bush and mountains, any meaningful efforts to curtail greenhouse gas emissions, tortoise walking through green grass, will only improve their odds of surviving into the future. There is a reason that desert tortoises are so beloved here in the park. Tortoise walking through dry grass. They've helped us understand and appreciate the desert, a landscape that many find is hostile and uninviting. Time lapse of Joshua Tree seen at sunset. But one that rewards those who move slowly and look closely. There are a lot of obstacles ahead for this lovable reptile, but if it stands a chance, it's because all of us are doing our part to help. This has been Desert Tortoise 101. Thank you so much. Text on screen reads Desert Tortoise 101, video by Michael Faist, and Joshua Tree National Park's Science and Resource Stewardship Division, Kathleen Farmer, Valerie Griffin, Brittany Simone, and Michael Vomstein. Script, filming, editing, and graphics by Michael Faist. Music